China is criticizing Western countries that support a second phase study of the origins of the coronavirus. China's mission to the EU says we urge relevant parties to stop politicizing the issue of origins tracing, stop using this issue to scapegoat others and shirk responsibility, and stop deliberately disrupting international cooperation on global origins tracing. The World Health Organization sent a team to Wuhan in January to study the virus and a report concluded it most likely jumped to humans from an animal host. Now the WHO uh, the chief says that it was premature. A Chinese spokesperson says the international community considers the original of report to be authoritative. And dozens of countries have told the WHO that any origin study should be a global one. Dr. Peter Chin Hong joins me now. He's a professor of medicine and an infectious disease specialist at the University of California, San, uh, San Francisco. So, doctor, how concerning are the Delta and Lambda variants? Uh, we keep hearing more and more about them, especially here in the U.S. right now. What is the likelihood that we'll see more serious variants evolve in the coming months? Well, right now, Elaine, the world is ablaze with Delta. I think Delta comes in. It bites and it doesn't let go. It's now responsible for about 80% and more in some communities in the United States and many other countries around the world. What's not only uh, impressive about Delta is not that it's large in numbers, but the pace at which it comes in and evolves and takes over the landscape is dizzying. 5% in May and now more than 80%. Lambda, a little less uh, uh, known about it, Certainly in South America, particularly Peru, it's very big. But the fact that it's been detected as early as uh, August and hasn't really spread and is really kind of regional makes me question whether or not it would really overtake Delta. In the future, who knows? And, you know, we've been reporting new cases in China and other parts of Asia. We've been hearing about the Olympics. And uh, for most of last year, these countries were pretty successful in containing the coronavirus. So what's happening there and what more needs to happen? I think um, what's happening is that Delta is changing all that we know about COVID. It's so transmissible that even vaccinated individuals are reservoirs and they wouldn't get very sick, but they could potentially spread it with getting more and more information to unvaccinated folks. I think countries that relied on old formula uh, are finding out that these old formula don't work anymore. In fact, COVID is uh, setting new records in Tokyo. These are not the records we want during the Olympics. And because of a porous bubble between the community and the Olympics village, even though they tried to keep it thematically sealed, there are more than 143 cases in the Olympics staff and athletes to date. So we're talking about masks uh, again, uh, some mask mandates going into effect. Uh, is it time to upgrade and take out some of those stronger masks again? Um, I think in certain high-risk situations, taking the Olympics, for example, there are sports that are higher risk than others where there's a lot of um, you know, shouting and breathing and people are indoors in close contacts. Similarly, in regular life, if you have a high-risk occupation, you're indoors for a long time, you may swap that cloth mask for an N95 mask to give you additional protection, particularly if you're unvaccinated.